Hi everybody, this is Adam Pecorero with Flexerero Fitness, and today we're gonna to be watching my friend Mario do his personal training session. There he is. He's doing his maintenance routine. If you've been following his workouts, you know that he does chest and back, at least for now, as a quote unquote maintenance routine before starting his official workout. I believe we warmed him up today on the row machine for five minutes. We did a little dynamic movement, hit those lifts, and then we take a little rest and we're gonna stretch out our back. We're gonna be using the chirp wheel. I really dig the chirp wheel. The chirp wheel is a great tool for increasing the flexibility in the spine and releasing any adhesions, and it's a, um, a very good way to relax and massage the muscles in and around the spine. It has this little canal on the wheel that's meant uh, specifically for your spinal canal. And here he is doing some thoracic mobility, some middle of the back mobility. And he's using a foam roller with his leg over the top. And we're doing some rotations. Great way for him to open his chest too. And this here is a thoracic back bend. So the foam roller is just below his shoulder blades. I have him grabbing onto this barbell just to help keep him in place. It's not painful for him, although it can be for folks. It's simply uncomfortable because you got this rigid foam roller under your back. So I give him the barbell just to give him a link so that he can try to relax. And he does look pretty relaxed. And then we go back to the chirp wheel and we do this lower back bend. So this is for his lumbar. A great way for you to reduce any of your discomfort from daily work in your back, as so many people suffer from, is to increase your flexibility or your mobility in and around your spine. And here we do an inverted hang, which is gravity decompressing his spine. And we're gonna have a nice little hamstring stretch as well. And then the kid's gonna jump into action. His workout is three rounds of what you're about to see. He starts with an RDL, a Romanian deadlift. This is not his max deadlift. This is a weight that he can keep off the ground for the entire duration of his reps. See it there. So it's great for time under tension. And these type of lifts are also very good for neuromuscular development meaning the way in which your mind and your body talk to each other, the, the muscle coordination, so to speak. You really have to commit to the whole body working so that you can balance and do the technique correct. Again, he's got a good hip hinge. He's keeping his hips above his knees, his shoulders above his hips, his knees behind his toes, and he's driving through his legs. This is about a 75 pound bar. Now the next exercise my brother here is going to do is going to be a overhead press with the barbell. Same neuromuscular benefits. You've got to commit to the lift and focus on balancing and core recruitment with technique because it's a heavy weight and you got to be in the moment in order to be safe and at your best. Now you got to remember this kid did those chest presses beforehand, right? And those cable rows and chest press was 120 pounds for four sets of 10 and then he did the whole stack on the cable. So his arms have a significant amount of fatigue is what I'm trying to say. Good job, Mario. Okay, so now we get to a little bit of plyometrics. As you can see, he's got a 15 pound kettlebell and he's going to be doing jump squats. And jump squats can be really good for the longevity of your joints, assuming you don't have any joint problem when you start training them. Otherwise, it's something you might have to build to or unfortunately have to adjust around. Meaning if you have joint discomfort that doesn't go away, then you're probably going to not be able to do these type of exercises because they're high impact and they may aggravate your joints even more. Mario doesn't have joint pain, so it's a great way for him to up the anaerobic cardio intensity. That would be my dog. Yoji! Recorded Mario's workout. You could always do regular squats with the kettlebell. It's just that the jump squat is more intense. So I've asked Mario to adjust to standard squats when he becomes fatigued. And you can see he's already done that. Next exercise is the good old Russian swing. 
Russian swing has great anaerobic cardio benefits as well. It's different than the jump squats because it's low impact. It's a great power exercise for the hips. And he's here doing this momentum swing with his stomach and his back braced. And even though his legs are bending, he's not squatting. And what he's doing is he's swinging like a kid on a swing set and his hips are pumping that weight back up, just like if you were on a swing set and you used your legs to pump and get you into the swing. They feel like, oh, he tells me his shoulders are feeling it. And he's trying to do maximum quality reps and taking mid-set rep breaks when he needs to. And you know, that's one of the things that a lot of people, I don't know why, but they shy away from it. They tell me that if they take a mid-set rep break, they feel like they're not doing as well. I disagree. I think it usually means that you're pushing pretty hard and your body needs a moment to catch its wind so that you can maintain clean form and keep yourself safe. And maybe after just 10 seconds of breathing, you can do more reps than you would have done before and better reps too. Okay, so now we're over on the skier machine and Mario is going to be doing a opposite dynamic from the Russian swing. Whereas that one used his uh, hips and his legs to generate power on the upswing. Now he's using his arms to generate power on the downward pull. It's also a great abdominal exercise, uh, standing abs, if you will. And you get a nice abdominal crunch and your triceps, trapezius, shoulders, glutes, calves, all get great work right here. And again, power is strength and speed. And in order to do the ski machine well, you've got to have some speed on it. So a great power trainer. And basically, he has three power trainers in a row with the jump squat, Russian swing, and now the skier pull. Next up for him is going to be his abs. We're going to start with a plank. It's pretty rough because of the arm fatigue. So after all the chest presses and the cable pulls, and now these skier pulls, the overhead press, deadlift, Russian swing, all of that activity takes its toll. I've asked him to do up and down planks. Now, he knows the up and down plank, but the fatigue makes it a greater challenge. I've encouraged him to go to his knees when he needs to, but to try to fight to stay on his toes for as long as he can. It's a wonderful exercise for total body fitness. It's a great way to work your abs without having to be on your back doing crunches. If you're new to fitness or you're getting back into it, I highly recommend that you start with planks to develop your core strength, your abdominal strength, and a sense of balance. It'll also help you to get your arms used to recruiting and enduring. It'll also get your back to become stable. And these things will all help you as you go into more challenging workouts. Now his last exercise is the hardest for him. It's a double crunch. He's trying to bring his shoulders up and keep his heels up as he brings his body into this roly-poly crunch. So the compression is difficult, but this kid does what he can, he rests, and then he tries again. He never says, I can't do it. He never says, I don't wanna do it. There's no excuses, there's no whining. And even when he has to wear a mask, he's still smiling. I admire that very much. I mean, he's only 17 and to have those kind of character qualities demonstrated consistently, that's very impressive. And that's why I think that he's an awesome individual. It's more about what goes on inside when you work with people towards their fitness goals. There's a lot of people who have talent, but I've discovered that hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. <laughs> and that's it. Thank you so much for watching everybody it helps us so much if you click that thumbs up and like the video and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already that way you know every time we upload a new video and if you leave a comment i'll reply have a great rest of your day and i'll see you next time